Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. So today I'm just doing some mindless crafting. <laughs> I have this sticker book. I actually have a few of them that I've had for some time. I actually got one for Christmas too for my sister. So it's sticker mosaics, create stunning paintings with 1,252 stickers. This is the exotic animals one. Uh, the author is Silvio Ribello. I got this at Target years ago. Um, I know they still have it there because I've seen them there. So basically what it is, is you have these images here and then in the back you have stickers, which I just finished this one. It's kind of coming up a little bit. And you have numbers like this and you fill in with the stickers and it's a mosaic and it's fun and it's mindless. <laughs> and I absolutely love it. So. I thought I'd bring you on just to show you this in case you've never done it before and just to kind of talk and hang out with you guys while I did it. Um, I actually use tweezers because do you know me at all? Uh, I'm a little perfectionist and I like my stickers to go on perfect, <laughs> but they don't have to. I mean, it still looks cute, but yeah. I love mosaic stuff. I think it's so fun. These sticker books are a blast. You can find them online. You can find them at Target. You can, you know, they're everywhere. But I really like them. So anywho, how are you guys doing today? I'm doing well. I have Sherman in here with me. I'm just kind of hanging out. He kind of chills out the most when I'm in my office and he's hanging out with me or my craft room, I'm sorry. And so I gave him his meds and I came in here so that he could sleep but then I had to get up and of course he followed me and now he's not laying in his bed he's laying on the floor but whatever if he's happy there I'm not gonna make him go lay in his cozy bed his meds make him a little wonky but he's doing really good guys he's doing really good he he even jumped up on the couch yesterday and the day before on his own which we don't like but we did learn that um it's best if he gets himself down versus us helping him he doesn't like that he growled at me so um there's that so on the when i'm done with these i've been taking off the sticker part and i could put this in my junk journal but i don't know wrinkling it like that just feels good so I'm keeping these because this is really easy to um, like if you have a sticker you want to cut out uh, but it's really hard to hold the sticker and you're constantly touching it and taking away the sticky if you put the sticker on the back of sticker paper because this is smooth the sticker will stick you can cut it out and then peel it right up um, but I was thinking about making another kind of like a junky glue book junk journal style and so i'm keeping all of these i have these today that i've done and i can put those in there and then use them for whatever if i want or use them for stickers i am however cutting out the image that they have up here for you to look at because that's a sticker and i want to keep the sticker because i'm obsessed with stickers i love them so i have been cutting these out Um, thank you also, you guys, for your well wishes on my dad. He had his therapy uh, for his cancer the other day, this new therapy that um, he's trying, and um, he's doing really well. He's just, you know, taking it easy and resting. Him and my mom are exhausted, as you can imagine. Um, but they're at the doctor again today. Lots of doctor's appointments when you have cancer let me tell you I've been helping um, trying to help more with meals and stuff for them because these doctor's appointments are exhausting they're exhausted no one wants to come home and make dinner after you've been in an appointment for eight hours or whatever you know six hours however long they were there okay so you guys, this is so much fun. 
I've just been sitting here watching my uh, TV series and sticking these on. I was going to do, oh, look what I made yesterday, you guys. A lot of you may have seen this. This, I made a little slow stitch, um, little square. I was going to glue, I might um, add a little hook back here and then I can just hang it for Valentine's Day or I don't know. But this is one of those washi hearts that I made and then I just had a little button and this is actually a sticker that I put on here and some fabric from my mother-in-law and some felt and a yo-yo that I made a while back. I love tiny yo-yos. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. Anyways, yeah, it says hugs and kisses. Isn't that cute? So I did that yesterday. That took me some time. I'm new to slow stitching, so... Um, but I, I really love it and it's a lot of fun and I so the other day I was stitching and my hands were getting really numb and a while back I can't remember I think it was Janet that told me to get arthritis gloves um, I have I have a like a wrist uh, what do you call that the wrist thing I don't know for my car for carpal tunnel um, but it's really hard to like do anything with that but anyway so the other day I was stitching and my hand was just killing me and it was going numb so I put on the gloves which was dumb because it was already hurting but it did help a little so yesterday I put on my glove first before I started to prevent the pain and the numbing so that was nice. That helped a little bit, actually. I was able to sew a little bit longer that way. So I will do that from now on in the future. I mean, it makes sense. Put it on before you start having the numbness. By the end of this, though, my hands were definitely numb. I had a hard time uh, doing the blanket stitch around the edge. But, man, this was so fun, you guys. I just, oh, I can't wait to make more. So this is like three three and a quarter by four and a half. It's almost like a bigger ATC. <laughs> it's so cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I love it. And I think I'm going to make myself a, um, I'm going to put together a slow stitch kit for myself, um, and make a little book so I can put some of my work in there and stuff. But Yes, I just like crafting. I don't care what it is. And I like to do lots of different things. And um, I do lots of different crafts. It's probably why my craft room is so out of control because I have, I have to have all the things for all the things, right? <laughs> and I always bounce around between craft projects, which I'm sure you've kind of figured that out by now. Yeah. Oh man, yesterday you guys, I was on, um, I was in a live, well, I, I was in the box, I wasn't actually, it wasn't my live, it was Dawn from Let's Make a Mess Today's live, and we live in the same state, and she was like, oh my god, it's snowing, and I'm like, wait, what? It's not snowing here? That's not fair. So I went and opened up my living room window, the curtains, and I told my son, I'm like, okay, the first flake you see, you have to tell me. <laughs> and so I sat there watching YouTube videos and her live and some other people's lives. And lo and behold, snow came. It only like, it didn't stick or anything. It only snowed for a little while, but we all enjoyed it. Me and the boys sat on the couch and just kind of watched TV and watched the snow fall. It was nice. It was really nice. Excuse the garbage man. It's garbage day here. Since my craft room is in the front of the house, you get to hear it all. Oh, this is so fun. I love it. <laughs> I love it. 
I wish they had smaller ones like, um, yeah, I'm sure they do, but like ATC size or something. This is way easier on my hands than coloring. I, I love to color, but my hands go numb and so it just hurts. Like even just writing, that's why I do like more, um, how I always say I do like um, visual journaling because I just don't write. I just put things in there and pictures or like, you know, memorabilia from places or whatever. Sometimes I'll do like, I do these little cards, like a journaling card and um, I'll write things and then just put it in with like a paper clip or something, but I just little things like a small reminder of something funny that happened or whatever, but I don't just like sit down and write anymore because it's just too hard on me. I didn't put that one down very good, but I don't really care. I don't know why I don't care, but I just don't. Okay, 54 is this big mamma jamma right here. Oh, sure me. You should go lay in your bed, buddy. Nice and cozy. God, he's such a grumpy old man. He's not even that old. He's only six. <laughs> he is grouchy. The other day he wanted to get on the couch with me, so I walked over just to pick him up to like walk over by him and he already growled at me. I'm like, dude, I haven't even like bent down to pick you up or anything. And I'm like his person, so for him, you know, he's just grouchy. But he's sore, so I'm just gonna let him be. He can be grouchy. I mean, he was grouchy before he got hit, but for those of you who don't know, you guys are probably like, what is she talking about if you don't know? I have a pug named Sherman, and he's always in here in my craft room with me. Um, if you watch my channel, you will hear him snoring in the background, and Last Friday, he was accidentally hit by a car at night, um, but he has no scratches and no bumps or anything like that. He's just sore, so he's a tough little guy, that's for sure. 72, where do you go? Right here. I'm telling you, these tweezers work so good. As I say that, they're not working very good. Eh. My sister had, my sister is pregnant with her second son. And she had an appointment today. And oh my gosh, I look forward to those appointments. She always sends me and my mom and my dad pictures. And it's just, I love it. Get to see his little feet. And his little body, oh my gosh, he's just so cute. I can't even stand it. I'm already in love and I've never even met him. He is due, wait, did I just take 70? Oh, I took 75, no wonder this isn't fitting. I'm like, what the heck is going on? I'm trying to put it in the wrong box. Um, he is due in May. And I hope he continues to stay in there as long as possible because his brother was premature, so everything is looking really good, though. And I just, I am so excited to meet him. I cannot wait. I love being an auntie. It's so funny because my parents have two girls, and both of us ha now have two sons. <laughs> no girls. And... We even have boy dogs, and my parents have girl dogs. It's so funny. Like, I can't even imagine having a girl dog. That's what's so weird. I've always had boys. Well, I say always, but I've had, I mean, in my adult life, I've had two boy dogs. We had our first pug, Obi, Obi Wan Kenobi, and now Sherman. My mom's always like, ew, I don't like that you can see their private part. <laughs> I'm like, mom, come on. 
She's like, I'll stick with girl dogs. I just think it's funny. My mom has like, they have their own little team with all these grandsons. I love it. I'm a boy mom for sure. I mean, I'm sure my, if I had a daughter, she'd end up just like me, but I'm definitely like, I've always been more of a, like a girly tomboy, if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know if that, ooh, sorry about the squeak with my hand. Ugh, that was annoying. Really, really wanting to make a junky glue book. So, but I think this time, like normally I do it in a composition notebook when I do one, but I think I want to do it in a, a book. So I have been doing this, never showed you guys this, but I took a composition notebook and I cut it because I wanted something skinnier. I kept the length of it because um, that didn't bother me. So I added black cardstock there and I added this colorful um, cardstock here that just has really positive things like you are a rainbow of possibilities, uh, find joy in your life, imagine, awaken, you know, whatever. And then I put this cute little trim that I love. Um, so yeah, I've just been kind of, you know, sometimes like this, I doodled um, and this, I just did a quote. And then other days I write things, you know, little things here and there, like the weather and what I'm up to. But, um, this isn't junky at all. It's just, I needed, I wanted a little book to just kind of play in and write quotes and stuff. So I did that, but I don't know. And then I have, let's see, hold on. I've shown this before. I have this like junk journal too. Um, and I love putting, you know, things in here and cards and I use like our old, I use, um, drawing paper, we call that coloring paper and I have cards in here and just, I'll see, like I do this where I add like a little, cause I don't, I don't, um. Be gentle with yourself, you're doing the best you can. So I just like, you know, having things like this. Um, this was made out of a Wheat Thins box, I believe. Yeah, and this one's cool because I made it so that the signatures can come out. I have four signatures. And I can take them out if I want and then put them back in, which is fun. Um, but yeah, this one has been fun to play in. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just like making journals and glue books and stuff and like making them as part of the fun. So I feel like making one. I should throw some in my Etsy shop and start selling some, but I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Sherman's snoring. That's a good sound to hear. Such a loud snore. There we go. We're 79. Here we are up here. Kind of want to go to the craft store today. I have not been, you guys, I have not been to the Dollar Tree. I don't even know. Weeks. Like weeks and weeks. Where's 82? Um, I don't see 82. I see 83. Oh, it, <laughs> here it is. It's like white. That's why I didn't see it. Um, I have not been, I haven't, I haven't even been there to get like any Valentine's stuff. And I see all these people on YouTube doing hauls from there and finding just amazing things and I really want to go. I might go after this actually. I might hit up Michael's and Dollar Tree. Make it a double whammy. There's a Dollar Tree literally like next door to my Michael's. It's not my favorite Dollar Tree but some I do find different things 
than the Dollar Tree that's closer to me. I have a lot of Dollar Trees that are like really close to me. I am so blessed. But the Dollar Tree that I consider my Dollar Tree, <laughs> it's really clean and it's very close. I could, I could walk if I wanted, but it's a little far for that. But you could. This is so cute. I think when I'm done with these though, I'll go over them with something because I have noticed some of the stickers are kind of lifting a little bit. Ah, moving around on my tweezer. Here we go. Where's 85? Here we go. 85. Eh. This one I have not been as good with the stickers. Probably because I'm on here with you guys. When I do this, my face is like right up. Like I'm like, my eyeballs are practically touching the paper. I put my face so close. Which is not necessary, but 92. There we go, 95. I wish we got more snow. I was hoping this morning when I woke up that we would have some, but just rain. I feel like we hardly get any snow anymore. It kind of freaks me out. Oh man, I remember one Christmas, not even that long ago. Well, I don't know how long ago it was. It was a while ago. Um, and it was Christmas and it was like a white Christmas and we were at my parents' house and we had actually quite a bit of snow. And so my dad went out and he like made it so that we could slide off his grass. He, he built like this whole, I don't know, he shoveled it to where we had like a sl um, like a slide going down his front lawn, and then he like cut in little stairs walking back up. And I am not I am not kidding you. We had first of all he did it for Andrew because he was little, or Jackson I believe it was Andrew. And my sister and I went out there and we had so much fun. My dad and my mom have a picture in their hallway of me. On this on the sled thing, like sliding down the snowy icy thing, and I'm laugh. My mouth is like wide open because I'm like laughing hysterically. I almost peed my pants because you know when you're laughing so hard that like nothing comes out of your mouth. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. It was like the best. And my sister and I were grown adults at the time, and we got on there and we're like sliding down and. We still talk about it to this day. <laughs> it's so much fun. That's a fun memory I have of my dad. I wish we had snow like that again. That was really fun. All right, so I finished it. And I hate that the sticker didn't go all the way down right here, so I'd probably cut that off. But how fun are these, right? So I've just been, see the stickers are pulling up don't like it. They're pulling up and apart. So I think I'd put like some gel matte medium or something over the top of these. Um, oh, I never finished this one. I started it. I didn't realize that. Okay. So I have this one and these can be pulled out. Love this one. Um, cause they have perforated edges here. I haven't done the elephant yet. I'm kind of bummed because the elephant, the colors are all purple and that's you know, my least favorite color. But yeah, so I think I'm going to go back and finish. I didn't realize that I hadn't done the, what is this, a bobcat, a lynx? Oh, bobcat, it says right here. So bobcat, I'm going to finish this. But I just want to come on and say hi, and I just finished some caffeine, so I'm really chatty. <laughs> and while I had a little bit of energy, just kind of talk with you guys and say, you know, hi, I'm here. I'm doing sticker mosaics. How are you? <laughs> Um, but I'll be back with another crafty video. 
uh, before you know it. And I hope uh, you guys are having a fabulous day. Until next time. Bye.